Hi guys, welcome to the Chelsea Skidmore Show. I'm here today with my guest, actress Molly Tarlov. Hi. Hi, how's it going? It's going well. It's going really well. I love your outfit. It's like a clueless kind of vibe. I feel like most of my outfits are like a clueless kind of vibe. Either referencing the movie or just like being clueless. <laughs> but I'm actually like uncomfortable with this outfit because it's like a little bit, I'm showing that, that line of flesh between I guess your boobs and your stomach and I thought like like I went to Pilates this morning so Mm -hmm. I was like oh I can do this and now I'm like out in the world and I'm like "Mm, put on a (laughs) shirt (laughs) you look great thank you do you do the Pilates reformer machine um I the this class was not Pilates reformer I I yes I do do it sometimes but I fell (laughs) in the class in the like in honor in a reformer class. <laughs> How? Um, it was like something where it was you were supposed to like go forward and like bend your arms up, and I like fell fell through. I don't know. It was really bad. Was and it embarrassing? I, had, I you know what? I really can't think in the moment how I felt because I was so. I mean, afterwards, like my pinky like was swollen for. Months. Months? Yeah, months. How months? Are you going to show me a picture of it? No. <laughs> I didn't take pictures because I was... And the place is called Dr. Pilates, and I always thought that was super ironic. I haven't heard of that. It's on Larchmont. I haven't heard of that. <laughs> That's funny. I feel like Larchmont is a good street for um, a lot of different cool workout classes. I mean, yeah, you would think so, but it was a class pass situation, mm. and... You know, sometimes you can't just, like, drop into a new studio and think that you're not going to jam your finger. Yeah. I tried Pilates once, and I really want to get into it because I feel like people, like, always have the best bodies with it. Yeah. Um, But I found it to be really hard, and they weren't teaching me. I guess I'd have to do a private first, but I didn't know how to do anything, and then they rushed through everything, and I'm asking people around me, and then they're getting annoyed at me. I know. That's the thing, and the, like... Everything is, like, sliding on the reformer, sliding so many places. But this was a Matt Pilates class, and um, the teacher is, like, so fun. Mm. And so you, sh- you can come Was that me. fun or fine? Fun, fun. But it had a oh. ton of fine. No. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I guess, like, yeah. I don't know. Do you, I ne- I'm never really, like, oh, that guy is hot. Uh, like a male teaching a class? A, a, I mean, a fitness definitely class? not a male te- teaching a fitness class. But I just, like, I don't know. I, I feel like... It's, like, more about, I'm, I don't know when people are, like, they're so hot. I'm, like, okay, but, like, what's their personality like? That's good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not, like, oh, I'm so not shallow, but it's just, like. That's not shallow. That's the opposite of shallow. Right. I'm saying, I'm not saying it because I'm, like, I really am into oh. personality. I'm saying, like, I have to, I don't know. I, I can, like, see someone and be, like, oh, that's a good-looking person, but I'm not, like, they're hot I'm you know what I mean well a lot of hot people a lot of hot guys in my experience have turned out to be lame yeah well like classically hot where you're like oh yeah that guy's hot I don't know and then you talk to them and you're like I'm I'm done yeah yeah because they're just like been hot forever (laughs) and they're just like I don't need to do more than this right yeah but but it's like, I think my husband's hot. You mm-hmm. think your husband's he is, hot. Yeah, your husband's attractive. Thank you. I forgot. What, what was his name again? It's It was Alex, and it still is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you guys been together for? Um, We have been together for, let's see, it's October. Um, it'll Almost four, four years. Four years? Oh, my God. Wow. And um, so, and then you got married like a year ago, right? Yeah, about a year and a half ago. So... You know, I Google everyone I'm going to have on. So I saw some of your wedding pictures yeah. and it looked amazing. Thank you. It was very great. And um, did you did you plan everything or work with someone? Like I the- had a wedding planner, um, mm-hmm. Miri. She's like still my friend. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I had a wedding planner, but like I had very specific ideas for my wedding. And she it was funny because like. We have the exact opposite, like, palettes. Like You my, and the planner. Yeah. Okay. Like, my favorite colors are pink and blue, and hers 
are orange and burgundy. Huh. And I was like, oh, my God, how is this going to work? But we just ended up, like, working really well together. And there were just, like, specific things that I was like, I need this to happen. And she, like, got it done. Yeah. it. Um, I loved all of the pink, like, the couch and the yeah. chairs. Thank you. Right? Yeah. I think about those couch and chairs a lot because I'm like, can I just have that? Yeah, it was cute because it's like you did that in the middle of the desert. But it was, did you take that? It was almost like a cool hotel or something. Okay, so it's like, um, it's actually, there are like five houses on it. And so it's like a property. Oh. And so like 30 people stayed on the property. And then there's like the lawn and whatever. And um, I, you know, we wanted to get married. My one, my one stipulation was like, I want to get married by the ocean. I love the ocean. And we ha- had a wedding date in Maui, mm. and I was freaking out. Just like, I don't know. I mean, planning a wedding is like hard. Yeah. And like, I mean, I'm sure you had a lot of stress, even though a lot of the, the stuff, like you knew you were getting the Madonna and goblets. I yeah. tried to get them <laughs> really so hard. Like you couldn't. No, it's only they only will give them to the, the Madonna in, and like I, I could have bought. I mean. 200 yeah. from the gift shop but like that's they were like 15 dollars. so yeah wholesale or anything even rentals we couldn't do it oh that's so funny yeah so. that would have gone good i mean yeah we we had goblets they were fine but like <laughs> that was like a week where i was like no we need the madonna in goblets like it has to happen yeah um but so then we we went to palm springs alex had been to the desert once and it was like a thunderstorm like mm-hmm. the only time it ever rained and so he didn't really like know what the desert was <laughs> actually and then we went i'm talking so much i'm sorry no um, you're supposed to that's what we're doing here yeah. um and i just i loved it and it's so weird because like i hate being hot and i wouldn't think that i would like the desert but then our theme was the cactus and the rose so it was like roses in the desert everything was like kind of opposites that's like, cute alex and the me did you come up with the cactus and the rose yeah you're very in tune to like some people just like get kind of i want to say style but i feel like there's something else too oh thanks i feel or it's like um or it's like getting like how to decorate or something do you know what i mean like i don't understand i don't know how to describe it but i don't understand those areas i decorating i'm like so not good at yeah, like I'm horrible at, but when I, but I guess is that like the work that the wedding, because when I saw yours, I was like, oh my God, it ha- it's like, it feels um like cohesive. Yeah, I mean, she definitely was very helpful in execution because I'm just like, will not, I have like all these ideas and then I am just like, I have no idea how to get this done. Yeah. Um, So she was helpful because she would like, bring me to a place and then I would be able to be like, no, this is not the mm-hmm. <laughs> the right, like the hue of whatever. And then we'd like figure it out, you know? How did you decide to move from Maui to the desert? I mean, Maui just like got super overwhelming. And then we went and saw the venue at, in Palm Springs and it was just like really nice. Mm-hmm. And it was like pretty, it was in the mountain. So I, thought that was like nice to be in the desert but also be in the mountain like that and there were like houses on it I don't know it just seemed nice Mm -hmm. and then um since you guys have been married like how is married life going do you have any marriage advice for me I mean no (laughs) I was gonna ask you like because you're like fresh what is it like a month and a half yeah about a a month yeah um what we've been already what we're trying to do is like enforce like a weekly date yeah. sort of thing or like going out with other couples which yeah. is fun because i've never all the past guys i've dated like were i want i i like to say horrible people even yeah. though they weren't they just weren't right for me right. but um like that's they, what that's how you start looking at things once you like get married really You're like they're not like okay oh. they weren't like horrible people it's just like wasn't the right it wasn't a fit. It's not a match. Well, now and, like, that I'm want... happy, I could say it in a nicer yeah. way. <laughs> and you want, like, everyone to, like, prescribe to that. You're just, like, your friends who are getting, like, fucked over by dudes. You're like, it's just not a match. It'll, like, it'll work. It's better. Like, rejection is God's protection, right? <laughs> you start saying things in a different way. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, that is true. I should do a joke about that. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so, you know, I could never get like any of the guys in the past had dated to like go to Disneyland, like go on a double date. Like yeah. they were always like, I don't want to do anything. I mean, you know? I saw your post the other day. You're like, get you a man who likes to take photos. <laughs> he loves photos, <laughs> yeah. you know. So, yeah. So we've been just trying to do fun things. It was really like we had the best, you know, it, it's so fun getting married. And then, you know, we went on, on our honeymoon yeah. after, which was so much fun. And then coming back, it's like, now we just have to continue planning fun things. Or like, it's just like, do you know, you're on that high and you don't want it to like crash. Yeah. So we're like, D- Disneyland. They're like, what else? You yeah. Know? I mean, I think that's good because I've like, Al- my husband works so much. It is crazy. Like it drives mm-hmm. me nuts. And so I keep – and we didn't go on our honeymoon right away, mm. which I don't suggest. Like, yeah. I wish we had gone on our honeymoon immediately. Because um, it's weird, like, coming back to reality. Yeah, and then you're just like, oh, what would you do this weekend? <laughs> like, I got married. It cost a lot of money. How and long like, did you wait for? Um, We – um. Let's see, you got married in March. We didn't – oh, I think we went – we went to Hawaii in April, so like a m- month and a half, and then we, we did Europe like mm-hmm. in the winter. Where'd so, you go in Europe? In Europe. Um, Florence, Rome, um, Copenhagen, and Paris. I hate Rome. You do? do? You? Oh, yeah. Rome sucks. It's the worst. But wasn't it so cold in the winter? It's like it, was, it wasn't too bad. Oh, I really? mean, it was like co- cold, but it wasn't like uh, terrible. Yeah. I mean, we didn't go do the, you know, all the like Amalfi Coast mm-hmm. stuff because that's summer. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I um so that you know we went there. And yeah. When I was looking, like um, I'd be like looking on Instagram at like the different hotels and areas just to like see from other people's perspectives, just being creepy. Yeah. And like I saw people taking pictures there, like in the winter, like overcast, and it's like, what the fuck is the point of going there? Yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty though. Mm-hmm. Like, and that was really because, like, I don't know. It is. I mean, the Mediterranean is, like, um, so amazing. But it just was, timing-wise, worked out that way. And, you know, like, Paris was hailing. Mm. And it was, like, pretty to, like, be I on love the Paris. bridge. And, like, you know, I don't know. Anything could be, like, romantic in Paris. Yeah. Even food poisoning. I kind of, like... You know, it's like, oh, we got, like, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean... You kind of what? I am, like, not... I feel like Paris is one of those places that... Cause I did a um, acting program in Paris for a summer, and you're like, I don't know. You don't know if you love Paris. Yeah, like it's beautiful, and the art is amazing, and the architecture is amazing. But otherwise, like I'm not super it's like the into city. the food. Yeah, and like the people are really not friendly. When I was there, I, I was there for like a week, you know, and I only. Um, a couple years ago and I didn't have a vegetable all week yeah like all the food was what like meat and cheese and bread or something or it's like chicken like cocoa vent you know <laughs> like if you want to eat like actual food then you're eating like it's like really rich and heavy yeah and... which does not agree with me no did you go to crazy horse no. Oh, it's amazing. I know. I know. I need to go. I wanted to go so badly. And we just didn't – we had, we didn't have that much time in Paris. Yeah. And also, <laughs> Alex told me he didn't want to go. What? I think he, like, was scared to be with me watching it. Because it's like he doesn't want to say the wrong thing and be like, oh, they're hot. And you're like, what? Well, like, we went to Jumbo's. Okay. And I want to hear about this. he – stood in the back on the espn app the whole time oh so does he just not like it or does he not or is it uncomfortable i think that he doesn't want me to feel any like way about it which like Mm -hmm. i'm of course like i wouldn't blah 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 whatever but i'm not like mad about it you know what i mean (laughs) Wait, you mean... He doesn't want me to be, like... Like, you feel jealous or insecure yeah. or uncomfortable. Yeah. That's so sweet, though, that he would put that before you. Because I feel like a lot of guys wouldn't be like that. I know. 
no, they wouldn't, and it's not normal. Like, mm-hmm. but you know, he grew up super Christian. So. Oh, he did. Yeah. Well, one of the guys that I dated in the past, like, we were in Miami, and we were like, and you know, I was trying to be that like cool girlfriend. Yeah. And I was like, let's go to a strip club. Like, it will be so much fun. Like, whatever. And he's like, okay, I'm down. And we went there, and like, you know, I dressed hot. Like, I wanted to, you know, it, it didn't turn out that I was the number one person there. Like, once we got there. Yeah. And um. <laughs> And we were sitting, um, like, at the seats that face the stage. I want to say, like, the front row. Oh, nice. I don't know how to call it. You know what I mean. And yeah. then um, and then he had a toothpick in his mouth. He was smiling and nodding up and down watching them yeah. and, like, staring at them. And I was so disgusted. I was like, I will never. And we got into, like, a huge fight. Yeah. And it was just gross to watch him enjoy it, like, in right. front of you. Right. Because it was almost like he just forgot I was there. Yeah. And it was just, like a scene in a creepy movie yeah you know yeah exactly so i'm like even though i know that it's not real and that and i don't want to be like oh i i want to demand this of my husband i'm i was like kind of stoked that he did that yeah you know what I mean? well, it's almost like <laughs> yeah it's almost like i'm kind of glad he grew up christian yeah i mean you know he probably is a good person you hope. Yeah. I mean, I'm not I, – I, he's definitely a good person, um, but, uh, yeah. I mean, I just feel like not having the Bible to tell you why to be a good person is just, like, kind of harder. Yeah. Um. So you're from New York, <laughs> yeah. right? Tell me about your life growing up. Um, I grew up in Tribeca, mm-hmm. um, and I – Oh, I don't know. Where'd you go to school? I went to Little Red Schoolhouse. I don't know that. Bleecker and Sixth. Okay. And then Trevor Day School. I've heard of that. Someone I knew went there. Allegra Meyer. Do you know that name? I know someone named Allegra. She She was a couple years younger than you. Oh. I don't know. Okay. Um, And then I went to Bennington College in Vermont. Isn't that the school that, um, from American Psycho? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Freddie's. Does like anyone that. else say that to you? They never say American Psycho because Rules of Attraction. Well, that's where James Vanderbeek's like, character goes. Right, and it was like Rules of Attraction was like there, like based yeah. there. Oh, okay. So what is that like a liberal arts school then? Yes, yeah, super liberal arts. Okay, and also like if you Donna Tart who wrote the, wrote The Goldfinch, um, she wrote this book called The Secret History, which is so good. Really, you should read it. And it's, it's about your school. Mm-hmm. Why? What happened there? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just like really. It's for like very weird people. Um, okay, wait. It's like what happened there? <laughs> I mean, a lot of stuff has happened there. Really? Yeah, and it's like there aren't that many people. There's like six hundred people at any given time. Okay, so it's a very small school. It's very small. Okay. Um, it's, like, clothing optional. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Stop. Yeah. yeah. What? The, I've never heard of this before. Yeah, it's, like, you have, like. Clothing optional? Yeah, so there was, like, a naked activities club. Stop. And, no, there wasn't. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, and we would get, like, notes in our mailbox, like, naked frisbee on the lawn at 4 o'clock, and, like, whatever so vermont right isn't yeah. it vermont yeah wait naked act did you do that no who did I'm that obs- i'm like i know what this like who went there um was it Nora? Peter dinklage <laughs> justin thoreau oh really yeah um tim daly alan arkin i like justin thoreau yeah he's i just started watching maniac oh and he's in how it. is it i like it uh-huh and he's like so good in it you know what I'm watching right now? What? American Horror Story, the cult one. Oh, then oh, cool. Yeah. Did you watch that one? Yeah. So good. Yeah. I love it. I it's so watch scary. The, the new one too. Yeah, I think it just came out, right? Billy Eichner is so good. Yeah, I know. I and really I love Leslie Grossman. Yeah, me who's too. His wife. Me too. Uh, I love the characters. Like I, I've never seen. Of course. Like, I, you know, the whole election thing at first, it's like, eh. But then it's like, I actually like what they did about it. It's probably better now to watch it than, like, at 
when it came out. Well, it probably would have been like it was more little, uncomfortable. It was like v- it's very dark. <laughs> yeah, you know, like last night we were talking about going to the movies, and I was like, "Let's go see Lizzie." Like the uh huh. And then we is were, that the uh, Chloe Sevigny? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we were talking about like Fahrenheit eleven nine, which is like Michael Moore's. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Is it weird that that's so much darker than Lizzie Borden?" Uh-huh. Like I'd, I was, I would rather go see someone like murder their parents with an axe than like watch a doc. Okay, a documentary about well, like you- the election. Oh, okay. Um, you know I mean? well, no, I don't. I don't know enough about. I just know that I don't know enough about either films. Let's get back to Bennington. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it, they had naked class. What else did they have? What was like the secret that this book was written about? Oh, well, I mean, that was that the book was like about a kid who went there and then they like joined this like philosophy, like this tiny philosophy class and it was sort of like culty and huh. But um, I love cults. Yeah. I mean, it's not actually a cult, but yeah. And then there's a murder in it. You should read this book. It's so good. It's so good. And Donna Tartt wrote The Goldfinch. She I think she won the Pulitzer for that. But I like the secret history book. Um, so you went there for theater theater. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and you knew you wanted to be an actress. Yes. Since you were younger. Yeah, probably. I knew I had like no choice. Why is that? I just like couldn't concentrate on anything else. Okay. Um, and did you do stuff when you were younger before that? I never did anything professionally until college i mean until after until i moved out here but yeah i I mean i did theater like my whole life Uh uh-huh do you still like theater yeah Uh uh-huh do do. do you want to do like i don't know what do you prefer um like tv versus yeah i mean i don't know i actually haven't done theater in so long um but i don't know i don't even know i don't know what's going on in my life (laughs) Okay. So you moved out here after college. Yeah. And um, to pursue the thing. To pursue it. And th- and then what happened? Um, I got an audition for uh, iCarly one line, mm-hmm. booked it, and I was Love like, it. this is going to be easy. Really? Yeah. And yeah. That was ridiculous thinking. Uh-huh. Because. Because then after that, you just auditioned a lot, and you're like, ugh like a process well actually more so like now i'm like Mm -hmm. because i got my i was on a tv show for six years yeah so but that's amazing i mean that's a really long time yeah that's like the dream for people it was it was great it was amazing and that was uh awkward Mm -hmm. on mtv and tell me about the show um I haven't done that in so long. Okay, the show, it's a comedy, but it's like, um, I guess it's a drama. I mean, it's a half hour. Dramedy. Dramedy, high school, comedy-ish thing. Um, Kind of like John Hughes-ish. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. And um, uh, what's his name, actually, was played our teacher for one season. Oh, my God, why can't I remember it? Three names. He was in Breakfast Club, oh, Weird Science. the teacher who's like, you you get the... Oh, no, Anthony no. Michael Hall? Yes. Really? Yes. I uh, Breakfast Club was one of my favorite movies really? growing up. Yeah, I used to know all the lines. Yeah. So um, he played our, our teacher one season. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I played, like, the mean girl, <laughs> Sadie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Was that... Was that... Were they, like, meaner? Meaner? Was it hard to be? I mean, uh, did you draw your inspiration from anywhere? (laughs) Like maybe my grandmother. Really? Yeah. So, what was it like with your grandma? Um. Well, she just. I guess maybe it's like partially. Well, the thing about Sadie, who was my character, is like she like the meanness has to come from somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So. It's like the vulnerability and the insecurity, and then that's just how she projects it, as opposed to Mm -hmm. like what 
I would do. You know what I mean? So Mm -hmm. it's like you just like get to that original place of like feeling insecure about something and then just like put all these like awful words on it. And then did it make you feel bad sometimes like say or were you like no yeah. it's a TV show I mean it made, it made me feel bad but also like it didn't really dawn on me until like it started airing that like people were gonna hate me really you know? yeah so w- was that when was there social media out mm-hmm. then uh, yeah it was like Twitter mostly Instagram hadn't happened yet so a lot of did people start tweeting at you saying yes. shit and you were yes. like what the fuck yes wow it, it was crazy and I was like I mean it makes perfect sense but I didn't really realize it and did you write anything like it's a character not me of course you like, like argue for with a them. while but then I, you know you have to stop reading the comments yeah yeah so did that like sink you into like a depression um no you know I've I've pretty much, like, done that for myself for my whole life. So uh-huh. it's, like, I, I sound so dark. But no, like, not at all. You know, it's, like, the things that that were being said to me are were, like, not – I mean, some of them were things that I was, like, oh, I didn't realize that. Like, they – like, oh, my forehead is tiny. And I, like, knew my forehead was small, but I didn't know it was going to be, like, something. Your forehead looks pretty normal to me. It's small. I mean, it's like normal. Compared I don't, to like, who, like Rihanna or Tyra Banks? I mean, don't they? Have... <laughs> I guess, yeah. No, it's small. Like, uh-huh. I know, you know. God, I would. Oh my God, it's like to put yourself well, out there like and these... have people pick you apart. Now I'm just imagining what people would pick me apart for. Well, that's what. So that was what was weird is because like I felt like I really had like run the gamut of things to like pick yeah. myself apart. Oh, for. and then they they came up with new things. Yeah. For <laughs> And I was like, Sorry. oh, shit. Like, I, they, I, they kept, there was one thing that people kept tweeting me this superhero name. And finally, one day, I Googled it. And it was the Crimson Chin. And he, like, has a huge chin. And he fights crime with his chin. And I was like, oh. Like, I knew I have, I had, like, a defined chin. But I wasn't like, oh, this is really bothering yeah. people. Um, so it's just like, yeah, you find out all of these, like, new stuff to be upset about but we're all um all of your other cast members were as well getting i'm sure like tweets too right yeah and so you guys talked it out with each other yeah Yeah. and also like because the show ran i think that's when like the the enemy the antagonist gets Mm -hmm. a little bit you know if it was like one season people would just be like what a fucking bitch with a chin yeah but since it like went and I was people started to actually turn and like my character, so then mm-hmm. they'd be like, "Your your jawline is so beautiful." I mean, not actually, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Did you like talk to the writers and you're like, maybe she doesn't have to be such a bitch? I mean, yeah. At first, <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god, this is terrible," because it was really, it was really the first the pilot episode of Awkward. Jenna, who's the main character, she. Um, loses her virginity to Maddie and then she like goes to take Advil because her vagina hurts and she like slips there's a hair dryer and a bathtub and it looks like she tried to commit suicide and so everybody thinks she tried to commit suicide so my character just like rags on her for bullying her mm-hmm. for that yeah oh wow yeah uh, and then like so what what year was that that was 2011. So around that time, were was that like a big bullying time? Yes. Or okay. Yeah. So was that a, was that kind of like in response to like writing about what was going on? No, I don't think it was that. Mm-hmm. I think that it just like happened to. Or it's just like there's always that character. Yeah. I mean, well, I think that like there the the Jenna, the lead character, had such a. I mean, you, she had, there was voice, you were really, even when I would watch the show, like, I was Jenna, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and so, there, and I think that the, my character was, like, based on a real person from. The writer's experience in Mm -hmm. high school. Oh, okay. Well, that, like, makes it, I feel like if only everyone knew that. (laughs) Well, yeah, but you can't, I mean, like, go around, like, telling everyone, I mean, 
Look, my sister is a um, <laughs> Democrat on Fox News, so oh, okay. I like can't. It's she, the tweets that she gets are really. Oh my god! Oh, for her, for her doing her thing. So it's kind of like yeah. when she you... goes on Fox News and she's the Democrat. It's like wow. Yeah, must be dealing with a lot of crazy people. Yeah, sometimes they like get the wrong sister and they tweet me it. That really? I die, and I'm like, oh, Jesse must have been on Hannity. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Uh, Oh, but you guys don't have that much of it. Oh, when they just look on Tarlov on Twitter. Yeah, they might they just see. like, yeah. Okay. Um, and then when you, so when you got the show, like, did you have to go through a crazy audition process for it? Um, There were, t- there was like the first audition and then the producer session. And then you have to test for the network. Um, were you nervous for that? Uh. Yeah, but, like, I wasn't as nervous as, like, I would be now. Like, mm-hmm. now I feel like I'm so, like, I get so psycho about these things. Auditions. But, mm-hmm. It, it's, they're horrible. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they are. Unless yeah. Unless they're good. And then you're, like, this is, like, the greatest Yeah, and moment. then sometimes you're, like, that was so good. And then you're, like, why didn't I get a call? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that happens to you. <laughs> That's only been my experience. I'm like, no. that was fun. And then I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> I know. But yeah, I mean, like, so, do you have any audition tips? I should ask you. I mean, no. Like, I really, it's so bizarre. I'm like, I have totally forgot. I think mm-hmm. before it was such a thing where I was like, I didn't really feel like it seemed very far away. Booking a series regular was like not even in my Radar. You, you were know just what I like, mean? fuck it. Oh, because had you only done like a couple of like co-stars or something? I had like t- a co-star, a two co-stars, a guest star. And I was like, that was like my first year in LA. That's a lot for a first yeah, year. Yeah, no, it was great. That's amazing. Yeah, it was great. And then I was like, okay, my goal for this year is two guest stars. Mm-hmm. And then I got this audition and it was like series regular. And then it just but you know you don't like now it's like you feel like you're going into a room I mean this, even with like the internet and stuff before it felt like I can go into this room and like I'm kind of anonymous so if I like shit the bed then it's like I leave and they forget it yeah. you know what I mean but now there's like so much access to everybody mm-hmm. and like I don't know. So I feel like going into rooms now, I just, like, get freaked out. Well, it's annoying, like, how a lot of people want influencers now. Or, like, you have to have a big following for stuff. And it's, like, it's it's weird that that's, like, how some people prioritize things. Yeah. I think everybody's just, like, scrambling because there's so many networks. There's so Mm -hmm. many. Like, the fact that you can be watching a show and I can be watching a show and... it hasn't overlapped is so bizarre because remember like when we were growing up and it was like oh we watched snick snick yeah wait is that nickelodeon like saturday night nickelodeon oh. <sighs> i can't remember the night of snick like saturday. snick is a phrase i just remember like um saturday morning like uh what's the thing with like uh pepper ann oh what is that like the I morning remember, one yeah but like Pepper Ann, <laughs> I can't believe She's I just even said that grade. name. I just like pulled that out of my head. I have yeah. not said that name in like twenty years. I like actually talk about Pepper Ann a lot. Shut <laughs> up! I <laughs> really do. That's such a good theme song. Catch him if you can, Pepper Ann. Right? Yeah. Who else was on that? She's too cool for seventh grade. She's one. Yeah, that was a good show. Yeah. Um, what was that? Sunday morning, Saturday morning, I don't Disney, know. whatever. Yeah. But yeah, there or wasn't like a lot. Boy Meets World. Yeah, or like Full House. Like mm-hmm. you know, we watched it. We all watched yeah. it. Yeah. But now it's like <laughs> There's so many. There's so many. Yeah. And they're just like, okay, like eight people in Nebraska watch this and like blah blah blah. And so I feel like everybody's just like, What do we do? Okay, you have followers. Uh, let's put you in this TV show. Yeah. And then it's like, well, they're like, I don't know. Like if awkward it was happening, if if my show was auditioning now, like it would be totally different. Mm-hmm. Like it'd be like all Vine people. Yeah. So annoying. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if like Vine. Is or I don't really... know. That's what I just like. Well, yeah. that was like the original yeah. thing. And now what is it? Girls who do tutorials. 
I guess. Or like I, I don't keep I mean, up with like influencers. I was for a while. I was like obsessed because uh-huh. I was like, why? Why? Show me. And yeah. now I'm like, I can't I can't. And did you buy into it? Um did I buy into it? I don't know it? what that even means. I know. But like did you like have I tried to like have a theme on my Instagram? Yeah, I've Tell tried. me about that. I need to learn about this. <laughs> well, about a theme? Just like oh, you mean a color scheme. Yeah. Is that what a theme is? Yeah. Okay. So, and so, yeah, one of my friends, she does, um, she works for like a social media company, like people's Instagrams. And like, she's told me about that. Does that really make a difference? I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't think, I, I don't know. It's bizarre to me because that when I go to someone's page and all they have is like pictures where they're like, this is red hued. I'm like, well, that tells me nothing about it. Well, it's funny because I was just on Kylie. Kylie's yeah. Instagram yesterday and I was like I just realized that Kylie I Minogue Jenner well oh. I was about to say her last name but I was I like I, but I was like I probably don't need to say it I stopped and then I, I was like I, she'll know I saw that and I was like <laughs> okay no I, I was on Kylie Jenner's I don't follow her but sometimes I look on her page yeah, every of couple of weeks and um and she does the color scheme thing does she she does she'll have like a full outfit in like orange she got i noticed that she got two like cars that were orange and she was like for the summer Ah. and it's just like for the summer she has like an orange hummer and like an orange ferrari i mean it's just crazy yeah um but yeah she does the color scheme thing too and she'll just have like full outfits and then like the matching purse and like some kind of light that's like yeah. the color. But I it's mean, like, who I feel the like time? that's like a function of her being her young mm-hmm. because she doesn't need to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, like this feels fun for me. Yeah. She probably likes it because like at the end of the day, like she is 20 or whatever, however mm-hmm. old she is. But I don't think that like people like I don't think she needs to do it. And I think like if I because I've like dabbled with it mm-hmm. or not. I've like tried to post a pic- picture at two pictures in the same like outfit in different poses and I'm just like this is so boring I've seen that one too yeah sometimes it's three pictures yeah right in yeah. a line yeah well it's mostly three pictures yeah I'm trying to figure out I feel like I'm 40 right now I feel like I'm like a parent who's like and what I don't even know how to do that one dance the I don't know how to do, do that. Do you know what I'm talking about? I mean, that wasn't it. But, like, <laughs> you're talking about the, like... Yes. Yeah, okay. Flossing. And the other it's day, flossing. Steven's mom was like, oh, yeah. Um, She's like, do you know how to floss? And I was like, my teeth? And she's like, no, the dance, <laughs> flossing. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And, yeah, I just feel, like, so... I feel, like, older. I mean, but no, why all... should I know what that shit is? Yeah, it's... I'm not... angry. Well, we're, like, in the middle. <laughs> we're, like, not... We're too old to, like be into it know how to do it and we're too young to like find out about it like three months later and be like hey do you know about this yeah (laughs) it's like i i'm just not gonna talk about it because it is embarrassing i mean yeah so are you so you recognize the himalayan salt lamp in the room i I do and tell me what that what that does um well it um well salt draws out negative things right like salt water or you know, like if you have like, impurities, right? So that's what the salt does. It the when you have the Himalayan salt lamp on, it like takes out the negative. It's supposed to take out like the negative stuff in the room. Is that what the happy lamp is, or I do you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh yeah, yeah, the sun lamp. Oh yeah, what is that one? No, well that's like f- sunlight because I had to have that in college for depression. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know a lot, a lot of people have it. Yeah. And what's that one? Um, well, that's like how is it a sun? Oh, yeah. So that gives you like whatever like sunshine gives you. Oh, vitamin D. Depression. Oh, people get those in the winter Mm -hmm. and put them. That's a good idea. Yeah. Well, I've been told uh, much like ten years ago that I had a vitamin D deficiency. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I just needed one of those lamps. I probably need to go outside. I I was partying a lot. (laughs) I don't think I was awake during the day. Really? (laughs) Yeah, I used to be like a really bad partier. Yeah. In New I York. Mean, mm-hmm. Obviously, not here. Yeah. No one's partying here. No. I mean, are they? I bet they are. They are. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't go out. No. Do you go out? No. Do you go to like fun Hollywood house parties? Mm, no. It's like where are those? I don't know. I go to one house party a place. year. 
No, I oh. just go to like Bonnie. Like if Bonnie is yeah. like, I am having a party because you know she's still mm-hmm. like she's still holding on to that. She I loves partying. I know. But I feel like she genuinely, and we're talking about Bonnie McKee, who's been on the podcast before, uh, lovely girl. Yeah. Yeah, she always, but she, like, genuinely, like, loves parties and having people over. Like, I would I never feel comfortable, like, coming, like, out of the, like, you know, coming down the stairs to a full party going on and being like, who the fuck are these people? I know. It's so bizarre. And, like, especially, like, not drinking and doing it. Yeah. I just. Yeah. Yeah. But she loves it. But I will probably go to the Halloween party. Yeah. I mean, I go. I have to go to all of them. I just yeah. like, have to go because she's she'll, And it's, like, up the street, so it's fine. Do you know but, what you're going to uh, be for Halloween? <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, done dressing up. I'm too old. Really? But I guess I'm going to do something. What are you going to do? I, I, well, first of all, I hate store-bought costumes. Yeah, same. They, I just, I like putting together my own thing. Yeah. Um. I generally like to either wear something like cute and cover myself in blood. Yeah. Like feeling like I'm in a horror movie kind of thing. Yeah. Or um or like a schoolgirl sort of thing or I don't know. I'm going to put together something. <laughs> I haven't really thought of it yet. What about you? Um well the other day we were talking about um being Melanie Griffith Griffith and Antonio Banderas? No, and um Ed Harris from Milk Money. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I know nobody would ever get it, but yeah. What do you? Yeah, because it's not like there's like an identifiable. Did she no. have like a white dress? Like a um, yeah, she had like a long kind of like flat. Because when she started wearing like Frank's mom's clothes and stopped dressing like a hooker, she was like in these like cute. And he has like a seersucker suit. Like when they went out for ice cream on their first date, so. It, that's funny. <laughs> I mean, I just like wanted, I just want that. Like a fun matching costume yeah. to wear with your guy. I guess. I mean, yeah. We've dressed up as our dog. <laughs> um, and I mean, I don't know. It's so, yeah. But then I was like, I kind of want to, I, I want to do the Spice Girls. That's fun. I've never done, I mean, I've done a Spice Girls lip sync. Mm-hmm. But I've never done a Spice Girls. Who girl. would you be? I would be um, Ginger Spice. Really? <laughs> yeah. I would, I would be Baby, I think. but Or maybe Posh. I think I'm, you know, probably younger me would want to be Baby, but older me would want to be Posh. Yeah. I mean, younger me, I was like Posh. And then I was like, I'm going to be Sporty Spice. Yeah. And so I switched. And I was Sporty Spice for like our lip sync. And now I'm like, I'm Ginger Spice. No one wants to be scary. Being scary is like being Miranda. No, and- <laughs> I don't think so. Do you think that girls want to be Miranda now? No. That she uh, ran for Congress or whatever she ran for? What um, was it? Mayor. I'm so embarrassed. Governor, actually. Oops. <laughs> she ran for governor. Governor. Is that the same as... Okay, now. Never mind. Let's move on quickly. <laughs> so you like the salt lamb, but what kind of... Do you have any stuff like that? Crystals? Or are you a crystal girl? I am a crystal girl. And tell me... Like, I don't I don't know about the whole crystal world. I don't know about any of this L.A. kind of stuff. Okay, well, I didn't get into crystals because of L.A. I actually, really? like, am super into, like... The reasons crystals make sense... The reason crystals make sense to me is because of Ghost Hunters... Huh. The show on sci-fi where they okay. were plumbers and ghost hunters. I l- loved. They were plumbers turned ghost hunters. Yeah, they like worked for Rotor Rooter, and they like the beginning of the ghost of ghost hunters has like their van pulling up as like the plumbers, and then it like turns into like the ghost hunting van. But there are these two guys, Grant and Jason, who like had experience. They both had separate experiences, and they're just they're just like super chill dads who from i think rhode island and then they like go around ghost hunting and do they find go- is it real you know what i have heard that the producers create like, create it and don't tell them oh my god mm-hmm. and there's a couple episodes where they've like caught things and they've they like one was on the queen mary they caught on their um on their video like somebody like messing with the footage and like rewinding, like undoing the bed, rewind, whatever. And they were like, they thought it was the queen people at the Queen Mary, but like I think it's the producers. Huh. 
Yeah. It, but it's a reality show. I haven't, I've never seen it. Yeah. Do you like ghost hunting stuff and ghost culture? Yeah. <laughs> ghost yeah, culture? I love ghost culture. That's so funny. Uh, did you know this place is haunted? I didn't. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I've never seen anything. But yeah. s- people have sometimes said they've seen like a uh, kind of like a l- like a shadowy light thing. source oh. sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Like float around or like felt like presence. Yeah. Do you feel anything in here right now? No. Yeah, but it me must neither. be the saw lamp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good call. We're safe with the soft. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do you? Are you into ghosts? Mm, I not really. Like I don't really think about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've never been on like a ghost hunting tour. I mean, I haven't either. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I know there's. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't like appeal to me. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just not. Yeah. But I like doing like Halloween stuff. Like I'm. You know, like, going to, like, some weird haunted house or something. Like, yeah. do you get all into that kind of stuff? Um, yeah. I mean, I get really freaked out because of <laughs> not, like, just because of, like, people who are alive and going to those things. Wait, like, what? Like, live, like, alive people scare me more than ghosts. Oh, okay, in what kind of situations? Mm, like, big crowds. Oh, overwhelm like, you. Like a women's uh, like, march or something. <laughs> no. I know. <laughs> I didn't go because I felt like it. it's too overwhelming. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like giant crowds of people. It's just like wily. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just like, I don't know what's, I don't know what everybody is. Oh, you mean like if you went to Universal Horror Night or whatever, yeah. it would just be like, it's not like the rides or the mazes. It's more just like the packs of people with like, um. Chucky yeah. tattoos from Orange County. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. But I, I do think those, there was like one um, haunted thing that it was in the valley and it was the most scared I've ever been in my entire really? life. Really? What was it? It was called the Factory of Nightmares. It was at Pierce College. And you like go in, it's like a maze, but they're, they're just like coming at you oh. all the time. Like it's like, it's just so much, it's like when you're having a dream that you're like, I need to get out of here. That and sounds horrible. It, it was really crazy. Is it still going on? I think it's shut down now. Because it was too much. I don't know what happened. They went too far. It was it was really scary because also it's like not super like corporate. It's just like it's college like, kids in yeah. the valley. I don't know. I went to the Universal one last year um, and... I just, I just like we went there early, you know, mm-hmm. to avoid, you know, the crowds and stuff. And um, I saw people like the people who were dressed up in the mazes. Like I saw one person like on their phone in the maze. He was like, yes, he was like pretending to be dead. He was just laying back, like oh scrolling like they did not. It, and the second it just brings you out. You yeah. know what I mean? And like they were like a little lazy with like their stab. It. You know, yeah. everything was just like lazy. And you every once in a while see one person who just like wanted to be there and like loved it you know what i mean and like the i want those actors when i'm in there so like you know what i mean it was just like is this a paycheck or your passion right exactly (laughs) i mean if you're not an influencer that's your job right that's where we're at today yeah um i well that's why like this pierce college was scary because like the yeah okay because like at those places they're not allowed to touch you and they have all these like rules but when there's when it's kind of like an operation on the sly you're they're they're like grabbing you yeah that's horrifying someone told me of one that there's like a field that zombies chase you for a mile yeah i mean no, yeah i don't like, know and then it's like how do you know that like someone wasn't just like mm, i'm gonna go do i don't work here but i'm gonna go do this and yeah and chase you i want to be in a horror movie yeah. It just sounds so fun. I wonder if like I don't know. I want I always wonder if people like go home scared. From a horror movie? Like if they're filming it. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Um I did a horror movie. You did? Yeah. Um And did that happen? Did I get scared? Yeah. Well no. what, what so what was the premise? Um it was like a frat sorority okay. uh demon thing. I mean it's not out yet. Oh, okay. Are you allowed to talk about it? I mean, I can't, like, say what... You don't have to tell me what happens in the end. Yeah. But, so, was it, like, a slasher sort of killer? No. It was a demon. Oh, a demon, demon. Sorry. Yeah. Um, And then, so... Could he use a damn salt lamp? (laughs) 
the one thing they forgot yeah um so did did it scare you like going home at night after to the holiday inn yeah that's what I, see that's what i think oh that's what was in louisiana <laughs> yeah so that's what i think about because it's like you imagine like a creepy set and yeah. then it's like you're probably going home to like you know like a shitty like hotel and then it's like aren't you scared there by yourself like were you was your husband there or were you there alone i was there alone so didn't that scare you like going back to like mm, no it didn't scare me and like they even tried to i think it like does the opposite because they even like people would be like because we were shooting in like an old creepy house yeah and they would like say stuff about like rumors about something like happening in the house or whatever to try to freak you guys out yeah really who yeah. does that the director no uh, it wasn't the director i don't know i can't remember now because we were just like mm. i mean we all just have to sit here anyway uh-huh but um so no it, w- it was less scary than i think seeing it Oh, seeing it behind the scenes. Yeah. Because I, I guess it's like you're just like in a house. Like, how is this scary? But then it's when they add the music and the editing. Yeah, and like, or if you're like getting like your prosthetics on, you're not uh-huh. like whatever. But I also think you could just freak yourself out whenever. Like, if we wanted to, we could like you don't feel anything in here right now. But we yeah. could just like get really quiet and like automatically start. Yeah, and you're like, did you hear that? Or like seeing, feeling vibes, you know what I mean? I I scare the shit out of myself all the time. When I'm by myself, or even like if I go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, like, you know, watching American Horror Story, like it didn't get that scary, but in the beginning it was like clowns freak me out. Yeah. So it's like, I imagine like, what if there's like a clown behind the shower curtain? Yeah. And I'll like literally scare the shit. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I do that too. And, like, the other night, I fell asleep in the living room, and I was, like, woken up by the air conditioner, but I was, like, and I was just laying there, like, looking around, and then I ran to the bedroom. Uh-huh. Like, in the, just by yeah. myself, like, running away from my living room when there was, like, nothing. I was just freaked myself out. And do you, so you said that your husband, he, he works a lot. So are you often alone at night freaking yourself out? No, but he like sleeps through anything. So uh-huh. like in that sense. It's I, very role reversal. <laughs> <laughs> now yeah. you're watching over everything. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, just like how you're like, aren't, you're supposed to be the guy, like you're supposed to be awake, like protecting me and oh. you're just asleep. Yeah. From like the it was ghosts. a bad joke that didn't land. No, no, it's fine. It's my bad. Um, but no, I'll be like Alex. There's like because we have a room on the side of our bedroom and it's like French doors and then like mm-hmm. the bed the uh, next room and um, some stuff goes down in there. Really, yeah. you feel that? Mm-hmm. But do you free like oh, you mean like you hear noises or like doors and then you're like it was that air was that? Yeah, I mean we hear like noises the door sometimes and my dog like gets into these modes where she's just like definitely interacting with somebody that's not there like barking or something no she just like looks around and then she'll like go and stand with like somewhere when we're already like feeling a weird thing vibe um and then we went to a medium but (laughs) and what happened um well my my husband's dad died and um and so we like think it's him yeah well was he living in the house or was he ever so then how would his spirit doesn't have to be like someone a spirit can be a spirit they could travel travel i never i thought the spirit lives in the house i don't think so see that's the thing that's where i'm like i don't i don't think like a place is haunted just because like you know what i mean like Actually, my friend was over yesterday, and she something happened, and she was like, "Is there a ghost in here?" And I was like, "What?" Hey. She felt something. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, and I was like, "I don't know. I think like maybe, but um, it's not like a bad vibe." And I also am like, "That's why you have the crystals." No, it's oh. not for. <laughs> I have crystals because crystals are like pretty. Yeah. And they're they do have like properties. You know what I mean? I'm not like. Like my husband has them that. next to his. 
well, I forgot what his crystal thing was. I just knew he like he had like giant crystals, right? Yeah. Yeah, my husband has them like next to him, but I think it's like good luck or some sort of thing. Yeah, like I that. mean, look, everything has like properties, right? So this salt lamp, like, is it gonna make us like all of our negativity go away? Like, no, but like a little, like it literally is salt that draws out negativity. So it's mm-hmm. gonna do something. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Um, and so there's just different, and they're like, um, well, this is probably psychotic, but so limestone is super, it, this is what I learned from ghost hunters. So when something's built on limestone, it's like more likely to have memories in it. It like, I'm staring at you like that because (laughs) my name Chelsea Uh means a landing place for rock or limestone. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's so Isn't strange. that weird? How did that become like a name then? I don't know. I Googled it one time and it said that. And I just, it was just like, that's odd. So wait, so that's why I'm like, what are you about to say about limestone? Well, okay. So, and I don't know. I'm not like saying that I believe this or like have seen okay. apparitions or whatever, but they do say that like places that are built on like certain types of, of minerals mm. and limestone is like a very, um, I guess... You would say like absorbent like a sponge, yeah. Okay. So sometimes if people are experiencing something or seeing somebody do something or like smelling cigar smoke or something like that, they say it's like the it's like the memories in oh. the limestone and it's just like replaying. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. So I'm not like oh there are ghosts, but like we have energy, right? We all mm-hmm. have energy. It just seems kind of crazy that like. We'd have all of these. And, you know, when you meet somebody and you're just like, whoa, that. that well, I read you reading people's energies being like, that's a weird guy. Yeah. 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 I and do. It's like, how how is that possible if like. OK, the lights just flickered. You saw that, right? <laughs> yeah. That's why you're looking at me like yeah. that. Is it because we're, now I'm scared? Do you know what I mean? Now I'm creating that. Yeah. Okay, I literally feel like this is a ghost episode. Wait, I'm scared. I swear to God. <laughs> do they do that a lot? Um, it's done it before, and I'm not even kidding. I think we were talking about something that had to do with this another time, but we're fine. No, I know we're fine. I'm okay, not I'm just saying that out loud to myself. Okay. <laughs> Wait. So, do you know what really freaks me out? House sounds. Yeah. Like, does your like, house have? Yeah. But all houses have that, right? I know, yeah. Like just. But then, and then it's like sometimes you don't really know if you're like, oh, the house is settling or settling. <laughs> That's what they say, like, oh, oh, it's just the house settling. What does that mean? Just I don't like, know. I think it's like when we sit down like and a... we're like, gotta get comfy. I don't know. Huh. That's so interesting. What are so? What are other um? What are other crystals or stones that I should be aware of? I mean, there are like <laughs> lots of crystals. I I Which don't know. Which ones do you like? Um, I like rose quartz. Okay. That it's sounds just, pretty. You know, also, it's, like, nice to have, like, the people use, like, crystals a lot to, like, hold on to because it's just, like, nice to, like, have that. Don't people take baths with them? Have you seen that? No. I've seen someone um, on Instagram taking a bath with one. Well. Like, no, but that's, like, a thing. Yeah. Like, it's um something to do with... Maybe it's, like, uh, balancing or, like, resetting your energy or something. Yeah. I mean, they're, like, they have different properties and they do, like, whatever. You could spend all, all your money on all of this right. shit. And, like, I don't know. But, um, and then you're supposed to, like, leave them in the sun or in the in the moon to charge them. Oh. Yeah. So do you do that? I mean. Yes. <laughs> I've done it. I'm, uh-huh. not, I'm not like weekly moon sh- moon cleaning. No, moon washing. Um. So what did the medium say? Oh well, she she said a lot of stuff, but to him, um, she was like, "Who's Tom?" And he was like, "Oh, that's my dad." <gasps> and then yeah, and then she was like, "Who?" And she was writing while she was, and then she, and she like, turned around writing? the sheet. <laughs> yeah, and she was like, "Who's Fran?" Stop. And my dog's name is Fran. What Franny. the fuck? And we always like joke like when Franny starts like looking around like oh tell Tom we say what's up, and so she was like who's Tom who's Fran, and he was like it's my dog and she's like oh yeah they like hang out, <laughs> and I was like tight. Oh my god! Did she say anything else? 
yeah she said a lot of stuff but do you often go to psychics i do you do how often i mean a few times a year it's such a scary experience for me you know yeah i it's almost like it's scary hearing what they're gonna say because it almost feels like some kind of sentencing well i think that if you have that feeling about it that's the thing i don't think i don't know if psychics can tell the future Mm -hmm. or even like tarot cards it's like you're just placing a card down like how does that and then you're like oh the dagger of swords or like whatever they're called (laughs) i got i'm i'm like i do tarot you do yeah Yeah. well i mean I've, i've done it before um but it's kind of feels like i don't know do you know what i mean i think i've a but here's the thing is that when with tarot if you get the cards and you start talking it out with like you're uh-huh. the person you're reading for or whatever it's like i don't like they've sort of come to their own conclusions about things and like find out the answer to what they wanted mm-hmm. you know what i mean so it's like really just have they mostly been right about st- stuff like anything well, crazy know. ever happened with that tarot i don't really get as like that kind of thing yeah because I don't really know how you would read mm-hmm. the cards. But like a psychic. Um, Separately. The, no, nothing. Well, an, a numerologist told me um, when I started, I sound so crazy. It's not. I'm like really First of all, not. This is LA. I know, but don't, I'm not even like, a, it's like fine. I'm a New York Jew. I'm not <laughs> like, I, and I just like. People sound. do this though. I We've all done this. I have not been to a numerologist, it's but it's just a ma- It's fine. It's fun. You don't have to defend it. Well, but I sound like a psycho. and like- No, you don't. Most A lot of people do it. Yeah, but... Everyone's been to a psychic. Okay, yeah. Everyone's been. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, there's a couple... Like, this is going to get dark. Okay. Um, A psychic once told me... They were like, oh, your aunt is here and i was like okay and they were she told she told me a bunch of stuff that she was saying and then like we moved on and then she was like your aunt won't leave like i'm getting like she's just won't leave she's showing me cycling did she love to bicycle and my aunt was hit by a bicycle in central park like four years ago and that's how she died and so i was like either you like where I'm like deep in my Wikipedia and you're a yeah. terrible person by like using that to or yeah. like m- you're talking to my aunt. <laughs> Did she have any information before about you? No. Like does she does she ask for your full name? No. Um and I like tried not to like Yeah, like, give them anything. It. Yeah. But I can't really remember. I mean, I guess it is possible that she, I mean, there's, like, a way that that's possible that she would have done that, but I'm not sure. Yeah. So it's, like, so either she's, like, a terrible person or she's a psychic. Did that make you cry? Um, I don't remember. I think the last time I went to a, a, got a tarot card reading, I think I started crying before it even happened. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just, like, I don't know. It, it There's something about it that feels just, like, so scary. Well, or I like, just think that you, like, are, like, what we bring to it, like I said about, like, freaking, like, we could freak ourselves out in here and be like, oh, there's something here. Mm-hmm. Like, that's our energy, mm-hmm. you know? So it's like whatever you're bringing to it is what, if someone can pick up on it, then they can pick up on your energy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I've been, I'm like so into like law of attraction kind of stuff, you know, how all of that is like, it's all energy sort of thing. And like your thoughts with your energy, do you subscribe to all of that? I mean, I like don't want to because I'm so negative. Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, I hope it's not real because I don't know how to like think positively about a lot of stuff and I want like good things to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a constant like job. Yeah. And you have to, like, be like, oh, shit, like, reset that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's hard to get in that, like, constant state of, like, positivity and stuff. But it's, like, I tried to recently, like, I was, um, I was, like, okay, I'm not going to do, like, compare and despair. I'm not going to, like, you know, like, talk shit about someone or whatever. And I truly felt, like, much happier. Yeah. 
like for a week but then it's like stuff happens and then you're like this fucking bitch and then it like just sinks away from you and it's it's weird so much easier to act like that it's like instant gratification yeah to oh to yeah to be like negative i know i'm trying really hard to like it's it's just like a constant thing with like the gossip thing but i feel like Mm -hmm. everyone everyone does it right yeah i mean i don't know (laughs) well i guess because you like have a a group of people that like extends because like i don't Mm -hmm. really have like a big network of people that i can just like start gossiping to you about, about other people because it's like different groups yeah yeah i feel like here it's like all comics like talking yeah. shit about other comics being like that person sucks oh, yeah. or like I why that or right. like yeah i can't imagine that must be yeah like, so crazy well yeah and then it's like it's hard not to because then you're like i'm gonna try not to but then it's like someone's just like so annoying on stage yeah. and then you're like oh my god <laughs> like i just have to like share my thoughts on this mm-hmm. yeah i can imagine i'm that. trying not to um I'm trying to think of anything else <laughs> that I could bring up. I mean, really anything. Um. Okay, so you have the crystals. You did the ghost hunting. Okay, that is not. How is that like the? <laughs> why like, is that? Wait, down. why is that? Um. Okay. Do are you? Uh, do you have any fears of anything? Yeah. Like what? Um. My people in my immediate family dying Mm -hmm. that's a good one yeah yeah anything else i mean like are you afraid of anything like clowns or oh sort of thing no um you're afraid of clowns i'm afraid of clowns dolls and spiders okay dolls can be scary for the clowns though so when i was younger i was at the macy's thanksgiving day parade Mm -hmm. when i was like five Mm -hmm. and um i was just I, I got lost from, like, my mom for a second, you know, very crowded. And, like, a group of clowns approached me. And I wasn't, like, afraid of them to <laughs> begin with. You know what I mean? And it was so weird. It was, like, it was like six of them, like, surrounded me. And um, they asked me some joke. It was, like, a really stupid joke. Like, something like a chicken cross the road sort of level joke. And then I was, like, I don't know. And, like, smiling, happy, and innocent. And then they took a pile of confetti and threw it in my face and it got stuck in my eyes and I started crying. It was like a horror movie scene. And then I started crying and then they all started like laughing and I couldn't find my mom. And like it was like a five minute like horrible thing. And ever since I've been like terrified of clowns. Are you sure that wasn't a dream? No, it really happened. And I know it sounds really weird, but that's like my interpretation of how it went. Right. It'd be so funny if on the outside, like it just wasn't that bad. Yeah. But like that's, I don't know. And ever since I've just been afraid, you know. That's so weird because like yeah. clowns, it's just a costume, right? So you don't, like, they're not scary to you at all? No. Ugh. No, they're, they're just like weird. And I know people are like scared of clowns. But yeah. But it's sort of like, it's like someone dressed up as a tiger or something. That looks like psycho well, with like yeah. the huge shoes and like the face <laughs> and they're like always like happy. <laughs> I don't know. It's <laughs> terrifying. Um, but you get the dolls thing. Yeah. Like, dolls. yeah. Did you have? Um, oh, I had Molly when I was younger. Yeah. Which I, one did you have? I didn't have an American girl. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. I was like not. I was like not into it. Really? Yeah. I felt like everyone had one. I know. Was it basic to have one? No, I don't think so. Yeah. I think I was just like so, I don't know. I just didn't want one. What What did you want? What did you like play with when you were a kid? Um, I mean, I had like 90210 Barbies. Really? Yeah. Donna oh. and David. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Um, what did I, I don't know. We, like I... With my friends and stuff, we played, like, Saved by the Bell. Mm-hmm. We acted like we were in Saved by the Bell. Does your family still live in Tribeca? Mm-hmm. Do you ever go to Air Ancient Baths? No. Have you heard of it? I've heard of it. It's on, like, Franklin, right? Yeah. 88 Franklin, now that I remember. I just remembered. <laughs> um, it's amazing. Yeah. It's so awesome. Is it? Yeah. Because we have so much stuff here that when I'm in New York, I like don't go to that kind of stuff. It's really awesome. And it's really great to go with a guy because yeah. it's romantic because it's, um, it's all underground and it has like really um, romantic lighting. It's like 
tons of candles yeah. everywhere and it's dark and it's like wood it's very cool um yeah and it's really relaxing they have like a saltwater pool that you float in and like all these other pools yeah. and then they do massages and um but like that's the thing like at we spa they have like the salt room do you like we spa best out of the, the korean spas yeah yeah really yeah. have you been to other ones yeah have you been to olympic mm-hmm. you don't like olympic best no really yeah i you know i had only gone to we spa at first so i was like it's great and then after i went to other ones i was like now i think we spa sucks really yeah because i've like gone to other ones and i'm like you know we, there's a reason that we spa is just like mm-hmm. the one i like olympic the best because i like how they have that like red oxygen room yeah. or it's like an infrared sauna yeah. they have that like gross like tea bath that's like 100 degrees it's like m- mugwort mugwort well, I, nothing no one's ever heard of it's that it's so hot i know but i like it because it it just like you know you just, just too small though i feel like there's no it is small and uh, like i don't know but i also like i don't know i just like we spa how you can mm-hmm. just hang yeah, I've been to, what's the other one? Natura. I really want to go to Beverly Hills Hot Springs. Have you been to that mm-hmm. one? Yeah. I've heard it's good. Yeah. Have you heard of that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love Two Bunch Palms. I've never been there. It's amazing. Yeah. I feel like you'd really like it. Yeah. It's, I, sorry, yeah. It, no, it's just, it's it's really comfortable. It's cool. The beds are so comfortable. Really? Yeah. And, um, and you know, they have like healthy food. It, it's okay. The service is horrible though. The restaurant, like they're just really slow, but <laughs> every single time I've ever been there, but like the pools, they have like private ones, which I really like, like mm-hmm. they have like wood square, like, you yeah, know, yeah. something that would be in like someone's backyard in the country sort of thing. And you can like control the temperatures, like hot or cold. And they have like private pools and then they have like their public grotto kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And, um, it's just really warm. It, they have lithium in the water, what? Um, which is like one of the natural minerals, which means it makes you like really relaxed. Uh-huh. Because that's like used for an antipsychotic at yeah, <laughs> yeah, at like psychiatric hospitals. Yeah, like but, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Yeah, but it's like it's super relaxing. It's incredible and it's really fun. It's uh, it's it's relaxing and yeah, I just think it's like a cool one of the cooler places to go like where do you like to go in the desert um where do i like to go in the desert um what's that one cute one with a p the parker yeah i don't like to i I haven't stayed there i mean it's nice i really like the the spa sucks there i just can't with the you know how they have the drug sign and everyone like yeah take a picture under it i can't get past that me too that's why i'm I, I'd rather do something like a little more low key. Yeah, it's just like it's Vegas. I mean, I love Vegas. <laughs> you actually. do? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. I like I've s- never met someone who loves Vegas. Really? Yeah. It's it, you have, you just didn't know it. What do you like about Vegas? Um, I like it's climate control. <laughs> you mean it like the hot kind of no, dry? No, no. Oh. I like oh sorry. Okay. I like the um air conditioned room. Oh, okay. And um, they have really good restaurants. Uh-huh. And I like Blackjack. I like Blackjack. Yeah. Do you ever go to, like, Commerce Casino? <laughs> no. I mean, I go to Morongo on the way to Palm Springs. You do? Yeah. Because you just have to get at that table? Yeah. I mean, I just, like, well, that's how I pay for the hotel. Because you're good like, at stop it. Stop there. No. I'm, I mean, I'm fine at it if I leave. Uh-huh. But usually I'll just, like, go hard in the paint. And I'm just, like doubling down all over the place are you good at it mm, i mean did i just ask that yeah um <laughs> i'm like i'm or maybe it was just an apparition it was just in the limestone and <laughs> just who taught you how to play uh my lawyer <laughs> really I, th- I thought it was gonna, it's always like a parent or something no um my well my lawyer is my friend's husband my friend nikki who was on awkward she played oh. the mom mm-hmm. and her husband ryan is also my lawyer but anyway yeah so he taught me mm-hmm. how to play one time when we were in vegas and they were there also but i went to v Ve- i i the first time i went to vegas 
was for Thanksgiving. Um, That's weird. <laughs> Why? So my sister lived in England for like seven years or mm-hmm. something. Um, and so my parents, like my parent, well, you know, going to going home to New York for Thanksgiving and then Christmas is just like a lot. Yeah. So and my dad is a winemaker. Really? Mm-hmm. In New York? No, in uh, his vineyards are in Oregon. In, in oh, yeah. I've never heard of a vineyard there, but I don't know much no. about vineyards. So is that is that a pretty common place? I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of wine in Oregon. Yeah. That's fun. Mm-hmm. I've never been wine tasting or to a vineyard but i'm sober now so but was that a big part of your life growing up um he actually got into the wine business in like 2004 so we always had a lot of wine like we had a wine cellar yeah when i was growing up and everything but it he he was actually in the movie business he was a producer oh yeah is Um, that how you decided you wanted to become an actor no i just at all no. Well, you weren't you on set? You were on sets with him when you were younger. Um. Yeah, I was on set, but like, you know, I don't know. I just it was always it I wasn't ha- it wasn't like oh I want to I don't know it just I loved I just like loved acting. It wasn't yeah. like, and then you know my sister was there too, and she's like has a PhD and two masters. And wow an actor yeah you know? um but yeah i was always like obsessed with i don't, I don't know mm-hmm. it's just weird like when i was like my crush growing up was like from like welcome to the dollhouse and empire records i just re-watched welcome to the dollhouse yeah well i love todd salon i don't know how to mm-hmm. say his last name salons yeah um, That's it. Yeah, it's so funny rewatching it like mm-hmm. now because I, I saw it in the movie theater. Really? Yeah, my mom took me to see it when it came out. Wow. Yeah. Um. I love all those. I love happiness. Mm-hmm. So good. I love movies like that. Yeah. I don't see a lot of movies like that anymore. You know, no. being made. Well, they they can't get made. Yeah, because it's Unless like there's two an influencer in them, in which <laughs> case they're like not gonna be. Which, and then it wouldn't be good. Yeah. Did you see Thoroughbreds? No, I didn't. Wait, did I? It was like the two girls. No, I know yeah. what it is because I like watched the trailer. It was kind lot. of a fun movie. Yeah. It was sort of like, it was like one of those older fun kind of movies, yeah. like a Heather's type. Yeah. Like Heather's would never be made today. Well, they I heard made that the they TV remade show. it, but I heard that it got pulled. Yeah. Because of the, wasn't there like a school shooting thing or something or? I mean, there's like a lot of reasons i think mm-hmm. it got pushed because of i think parkland happened when it, the week it was supposed yeah to, oh that was it yeah but then it never aired uh-huh they flipped it though they like did the heathers were like a a gay mm-hmm. kid and a like um trans no okay but sh- the main heather was like kind of not like super skinny and uh-huh. really like aggressive i don't know so I don't yeah know. i don't know i kind of like think they should i think that's cool that they did that yeah. and it's progressive but i kind of feel like the old format was like what heather's was i mean then it's for like sure i mean whatever but yeah when it was like not yeah whatever. well we'll not touch on that yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but uh yeah, no, I I'm I think it's sad. There are movies I feel like it's but also even romantic comedies like we just have such a different cuz if you rewatch old romantic comedies, it's so funny to watch them because they would never be made now. Now like, like what? someone has to like shit themselves <laughs> and like you know uh-huh. what I mean? It's just like like us as audiences, we can't just like watch him see a movie like if you think about like working girl or something uh-huh isn't that another melanie not, griffin yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, not like not like a huge fan uh-huh. i mean i do really like her but uh-huh. um, isn't her daughter an actress yeah D- dakota johnson oh that's it okay wait is that the girl from 50 shades yeah that's her daughter mm-hmm. 
Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. She's doing well. She's yeah, she is. She's hot. She does it. She does sometimes. Like there was like a cute like fifteen minute Vogue movie that she did mm-hmm. with um, Nicholas Braun, who is on um, Succession. Anyway. Okay. But like that kind of stuff. Like. That kind of stuff is cute. You know what I mean? Like these yeah. like little... Like vign- sometimes they... Oh, vignette sort of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen those kind of things. Yeah. I like those. I like the Vogue like 60 question thing. Oh my God, I love it. So but that's so ridiculous. staged, right? Like they, Yeah. Okay, because it's just too perfect. I didn't <laughs> like the Lady Gaga one. Oh, I didn't see that one. It's new. Um, You know what's so funny? Really quick side note. You watched the Lady Gaga documentary, right? Yeah. Okay, don't you think it was so weird when she just took her top off at the pool? I mean... Have you talked about that moment with people? No, I've never talked about that because I, like, can't get over Do you re- all of the other... Yeah, of course I remember How that. weird was that? It was just a power move because she could. I know. It literally had nothing to do. Well, I sort of think, like, also they, like, put it in because they were like, look at Gaga. Yeah, but it was just so random. Do you know what I mean? Like, she, it was, she was just with two other women. Yeah. So it's kind of just like... What? Well, freedom of expression, Chelsea. It's funny because I was like reading. So I guess she she just maybe was on the probably was on the cover of Vogue. So I just read this article about her because I've been like, you know, interested in reading whatever. I'm not like obsessed with her. I just <laughs> picked up the article uh, and read it. And um, and it said that she answered the door in like a thong and a bra. And I'm like, <laughs> why does she keep doing this? And it's like, is she like f- doing this because she can? Just like a power I mean, move, or does she genuinely just want to like be in like a little bit of clothes? Do you know what I mean? I just thought it was so funny that I read that again. It just made me like yeah. laugh. Yeah, I've already bought my tickets to A Star Is Born though. So oh really? Yes. Well, I'm a big fan of the Streisand version. Uh, was that a remake? I don't even know. Yeah, it's actually. A, I think it's a, this is the third time it's been made. The oh. first was um, Judy Garland, I believe, mm-hmm. and then Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson, and then now Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Yeah, should be interesting. Stephanie Germanata. Yeah, did you know her in New York? Uh no. Yeah. Um. So we got sidetracked, but I remember you saying something about your sister living in London, and then did oh. that have to do with the wine? Oh, so my da- since my dad's a winemaker, he like goes to Vegas, like he go like for the restaurants there. He so a oh. lot of his wine is in the restaurant. Yeah, um, like his wine is in all of the Wynn restaurants, and so um, they were like, I think he ha- he had to go have a meeting or something. So we just decided to like go for Thanksgiving. Uh huh, and. You just like go to. We always go to Strip Steak, which is. I think it's like Danny. Strip House. No, it's a Danny Meyer, I believe, restaurant. But anyway, they just have like good Thanksgiving dinner. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> and oh, so because that's the first time I went to Vegas, and my dad was like, you know, take a hundred dollar every day. We'll like each play with a hundred dollars and that's it and then we like go eat good food go to like the spa that's fun the gym and like go to sleep in like a comfortable bed yeah like air conditioning like it was (laughs) you're big on the air conditioner yeah you've mentioned air conditioning several times i I don't have central air so it's like a big yeah for me Uh (laughs) uh-huh i know well i i i've been waking up a lot with a headache and i think it's from air conditioning do you have central air no yeah, so just, like, blowing on you the one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, like, air conditioning is one of those things that you don't think about when you're younger, and then you grow up, and you're, like, air conditioning I need it. is such a thing. We were in escrow on a house, and, like, they were, they had to put, install air conditioning, and I was just, like, well, can you not have all the air conditioning on at once? And they were, like, no. And I was like, but why would I be air conditioning a room for children that I don't even have? Uh Uh-huh. And then I was like, this is crazy. Yeah, because I'm not a huge fan of air conditioning, to be honest. Interesting. It's annoying. I just, it's like, it gets too cold. I don't really like it. I sometimes like to be a little more hot than, like, freezing. Interesting. It's never, it's always too cold, too. Well. So did you, do you know a lot about wine? Yeah. Kind mm-hmm. of. I mean, not that much, but yeah. And 
Oh my god, did you see that documentary on Netflix? Sour grapes. Mm -mm. It's amazing. I tell everyone they have you. They have to watch it and tell your dad to watch it. It's so funny. But it's about this wine con artist in L.A. It's so funny. It's it's a real documentary, and it's this. um, I think he was from Indonesia, posing as like a wealthy guy. He somehow had a bunch of money, but he was like making his own wine and selling it to auction houses, and he was making millions and fooling everyone. It it was it was really good. All right, I'm gonna watch it. And yeah, I feel like okay. So there's a movie that is so good, and nobody ever knows it. But since you're a comedian, uh huh. Have you ever seen Windy City Heat? Okay, I, I've been meaning to watch it, and I know well, Dawn, it, and everyone's obsessed with it. Dawn's here every single night who oh, made really? it. Yeah. It's so good. Did you watch it on YouTube, though? No. I've tried to watch it, but I can't. How did you watch it? Well, I, this, back when, like, Netflix sent DVDs. Uh-huh. I rented it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Are you, yeah, I've been meaning to watch it, and then I forget about it, but it's good, right? Oh, my God, it's so funny so the guy who they tricked yeah like came here like last year and there uh-huh. was like a whole night for him sort of thing yeah yeah um perry His yeah perry yeah i haven't seen the room either or really room. yeah have you yeah i know i meant to go to one of the showings yeah. uh and i watched like part of the disaster artist but i just couldn't get into it but people say it's good if i guess i if mean you know yeah. the movie. you have kind of have to like have seen the room but also like going to one of those showings is like so bizarre it's such a weird thing that i guess it's like rocky horror i was just gonna say yeah i've actually never seen that movie either really yeah (laughs) do you love it um i like rocky horror i'm not like a i was i wasn't like one of those yeah kids growing up i the first time i saw it was like a, a live thing of it and then i watched the movie and i was like oh yeah, like they would show it at midnight, right? Mm-hmm. Every week at like some theater. I don't know if they still do. I feel like they do. In New York, though, uh-huh. right? Here, too. Someone was just talking about it recently, but yeah, I've never seen it. It doesn't appeal to me. I feel like I get what it is, and I yeah. don't like it. That's like me with Harry Potter. Ugh. Not I, I like not that I dislike it, but I just can't watch it. Like, yeah. I'm like I get it. I already get it. And well, it's like, now I'm too old for it. Yeah. Like, I read the first three books when I was in, like, seventh grade, yeah. you know, and I watched, like, the first probably two movies, I think, mm-hmm. and then I just got too old for it. I just started smoking weed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Do I you don't, smoke weed? No, I don't do anything anymore. That's what I thought, but then you were doing all that, like, weed stuff. So. Wait, what weed stuff? I, I don't know. Maybe it was a joke. I don't was know. I? Well, it was probably... It was, it was a joke, whatever it was. Because, I, yeah, I haven't done anything in a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do anything. It's yeah. just, like, too – I just won't stop. Um, yeah, no, I get yeah. that. Yeah. Um, that – yeah. Um, are you close with your family? Mm-hmm. That's nice. Yeah. So do you are go you? back – You're close. Yeah. Your mom, I see her. Yeah, time. I know. She's great. She's, <laughs> she's like, a friend. She's, yeah. like, a kid. Yeah. She's very, like, young at heart. Mm-hmm. A childlike spirit. Yeah. <laughs> What are your parents like? Um, they're they're cool. I mean, my my mom is. I'm definitely going to turn into her at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, and what does that look like? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, her and my sister are best friends. Mm-hmm. They're obsessed with each other. Oh, really? And yeah. how does that make you feel? I'm totally fine with it. Like because there's an equal amount of like love and relationship it's just my mom and i are so similar that like i had to like pull back we have to like not hang out all the time really yeah did it get to a point where it was like no it's just like growing up my sister is like very my sister and i are like opposites but kind of have like the same personality okay um so my dad calls us like right brain and left brain because mm-hmm. like he just he, he thinks like we just use the opposite sides of our brain. Yeah. Um, and so my mom, I don't know, Judy, she's just. Hey, Judy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, then my dad is like very. My dad married us. Uh-huh. Um, oh, that's fun. Mm-hmm, and he's very. 
So did he, how did that work? Did he walk you down the aisle and then? I walked with my mom and my dad. Okay. Because that's what they do at a Jewish wedding, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, And then, yeah, my dad just went up and stood there. That's so sweet. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. Aw. Yeah, it was great. Um, And he's really funny. Like, people are, like, kind of scared of him. Really? Mm -hmm. Why is that? He doesn't, like... The things that you do to, like, be polite, <laughs> he doesn't really do. Okay. That's what my dad is like, too. Really? But, okay, so my dad's 70. Mm-hmm. Is your dad? 65. 65. Okay. So part of it, I feel like it's almost like a dismissiveness or just, like, I. but I think it's, like, I thought it was, like, them being older, but now I realize he's probably always been like that. Yeah, probably. Is it is it, like, a dismissive sort of quality? No, it's not that. It's just, like he won't like spend time on things that he just feels like this why are we like like you know like small talk Mm -hmm. it's just like there's no point he's like would just be like we should just not talk he would say that out loud so he's like larry david type yeah i mean like i (laughs) hate to say that because everybody's like my dad's larry david and i'm whatever you know (laughs) yeah but i think like we have a piece of larry david in all of our dads you know what i mean um so yeah my dad would just be like he'd be like if we're just if we can only have small talk then we should just not that's so funny has he said that to like any of your friends in front of you i mean my friends like like if he says my friends names they're like oh my god or they they like tell me if like they see my dad and he's like he's like hi Kristen, and he like gives her a hug hello Uh uh-huh like tell me because he's not like what what otherwise very, like elusive is yeah, that the word yeah. what does that mean christian is so elusive you mean, clueless. Uh, you mean like uh yeah i don't know what that word means and i used it but i felt like it was right <laughs> it was right like he kind of just um will be like oh hey and like walk away like you can't get a beat on him really and like, like everybody like, like my mom always gets so mad because like She's like, everybody thinks dad's so cool. They just think he's so cool. But it's just because he's rude and he doesn't, like, talk to people. He won't go to anyone's house for dinner. I love that. I, I'm obsessed with him. Yeah. He's a little wild. And, like, he is, like, he, yeah, he's just so, and she, like, so she'll always be like, oh, yeah, dad's so cool. But, like, he's not nice. Like, he won't go he won't hang out with you and that's why not me but Uh because he's like very he is very like into my sister me and my mom and my dog actually he like loves her so much but um but otherwise it's just very like you have to like win him over yeah but even so it's it's not like i don't know it's just weird i don't know was it but growing up did was it like the same sort of like vying for attention or like a feeling of like proving yourself or no sort of thing? no no yeah yeah I mean because that wasn't like my like that wasn't the feeling in the house like right. the house is like very warm and mm-hmm. everything like that so um but like my I don't know he was like a producer and I cutthroat. <laughs> yeah, but like not re- just like throwing out terms that I don't I have the full understanding of. No, I don't know, but um, yeah, he just like doesn't. I don't know, but no, it wasn't like I was. I mean, I'm sure I was vying for mm-hmm. attention. Was yeah, still, I, I am like who isn't seriously. And if you're not, you got too much love <laughs> from here. Yeah. Well, I mean, like my sister doesn't even have Instagram. Really? Yeah. Isn't that so cool when you meet people who don't? have instagram or facebook like i think you're so cool yeah my husband doesn't have facebook he hasn't posted on instagram in two years what Mm -hmm. so he must is he happier than like the average instagram user i mean i assume i think he might he is i'm what is does he have a reasoning behind it no he just doesn't have interest in it how cool is that yeah i mean facebook i think because he used to be in a band Uh uh-huh and so it was just like there's like a bunch of fake hymns. Oh, really? On Facebook. Uh-huh. Yeah. So he just like didn't make a Facebook. Yeah. What about before that? Like in like at a high school, like when everyone has one. Well, we didn't have Facebook. Didn't exist in high school. Really? Mm-hmm. I had Facebook when I was going into college. 
Like, yeah. Yeah. But where'd you go to school? In uh, Westchester. Like high school or yeah. college? Yeah, high school. Oh, college. Sorry. Um, Hawaii for three years, and then I right. transferred to Pace downtown. And Hawaii had Facebook? Yeah. Well, I had Facebook the last, like, senior year, like, be- you know, like, before we, I had it, like, at the end of senior year in yeah. high school. Yeah. I don't know. Uh-huh. Well, he grew up in Rockland County. And oh. He was, like, in the Jonas Brothers, so. Oh, really? We were, like, That's so funny. What, what, what did he do in it? He was the drummer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So was it them, three singers, and then, like, a guitar and drummer? And bass, yeah. Weren't they from New Jersey? Mm-hmm. Okay. He went to Eastern Christian High School in New Jersey. Oh. So that must have been a... But when did... Then they broke up together and one of them went, like, solo or something? Um. Well, Alex was out of the Jonas Brothers before that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he had his own band that was, like, um, sign, like Jonas Brothers, but mm-hmm. not... Like, a, the same successful. kind of vibe, but, like, different people. Yeah. So, does he have, like, a lot of, like, weird girl fans? I mean, not anymore. Uh-huh. But, yeah, he did. That must have been a trip. For him or for me? For him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think definitely. Just, like, with how girls are with, like, and I'm not trying to be make this, like, a weird thing. Oh, I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's also bizarre because, like. There, yeah. I mean, it it was it was interesting. Well, I feel like things have changed. Like, whereas boy bands were popular, now it's like um like teens with face tats like rapping. Yeah, for sure. The progression of. Yeah, I mean, I think that they might have might have been like a little bit more successful if they had thrown on some face tats. But... <laughs> uh huh. But now he's like, I mean, you've met him. Mm-hmm. If I googled him and showed you what he looked like in the band, you'd be like. That is so bizarre. Like, yeah, he didn't have long hair. No. Oh, my God. But I feel like they have to, like, play that part, too. Because isn't there, like, always a manager who's telling everyone what to be? Yeah. And they're, like, not. Which is, like, so stupid because you can't, like, sell that fake thing. But they do, I guess, right? Kind of, yeah. I mean, he was, like, signed to the Jones label and Uh everything. But, um... Yeah, I always, like, make fun of him because he had, like, so many scarves. Oh, really? Carpets. That's so funny. Just, I hate like, scarves. Scarves, just tons scarves of fedoras. Scarves. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, like... Like, someone's like, here, wear this. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Yeah. And, like, tans. They went tanning? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Teeth whitening. I mean... All of it. I would love if... It you know what? That's that. that's reminding me of the scene in La La Land when they do, like, the photos of, like, the band when he's playing in the John Legend band. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that when they're doing the Not photos really, and they're dressing him? I, like I don't know. I just thought La of that La scene. <laughs> when else did I talk about it? You talked about it on your, on your like, podcast two weeks ago. Did I? Mm-hmm. Well, I just rewatched it. Yeah. Because... Yeah, I didn't like it the first time when I watched it, and I don't like musicals, but yeah. I rewatched it because on... Was Billy on the Street? No, was he... Oh. He, like, was with Emma Stone, and there was this guy who was... was like, he dated her? Stone. No, Billy Eichner? He's in the movie? I'm so confused. I'll tell you later. Okay. Oh, because she just was on the... Yeah, I saw a clip of that, because I just started following him. Um um yeah so i rewatched it on the plane because i was coming back from italy we had nothing to do and there was like five movies to choose from yeah and i really liked it and i cried in the end yeah that's what you said yeah i don't know i just and now i've been listening to the soundtrack ever since (laughs) and now i like really like it maybe you like well because when i hear you're like i don't like musicals yeah i I don't i'm like well that's not i love musicals i'm get. i think i'm getting more into them which one should i watch next Mm. Oh. I haven't seen West Side Story. I haven't seen any, like, I what don't. Chicago? That's, like, a good segue. That's a fun one, right? Oh, my God. It's okay. great. Okay. I know. like, if we, if we went, like, dove straight into, like, musical, I don't know. You might be like, no, I'm out. But, like, Chicago is, like. A soft start. Mm-hmm. I, I like that thinking. And that's a good, that's a good path for me. Yeah. 
would be very interested in hearing what you thought about it. Okay, I'll watch that. Yeah. All that jazz. I remember I did this acting class when I was younger, and we had to learn that song and, like, yeah. dance to it. That's a little too sexy for a child. Was it? Well, we didn't. I don't know. I, I was, like, 10. Oh. It was a weird time. My husband did Bye Bye Birdie in high school. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see Bye Bye Birdie? No. Oh. I haven't seen any of these. But they cut out all of the, like, stuff that would be about, like, sex or anything. Uh Uh-huh. And so I recently made him watch it because (laughs) he was, like, and he had no idea what the show was about because they cut out all the sex stuff. Uh Uh-huh. Because it was, like, Christian high school. And he played Conrad Birdie, and, like, the whole thing is, like, like about sex, basically. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Did you guys have, like, a Christian and Jewish wedding? No. (laughs) um so i'm i'm half jewish Mm -hmm. you know but i'm not like i never was bat bat mitzvah right i never went to hebrew school any of that um but i wanted to do the chair thing yeah so we did that at our wedding it was fun did you have a bat mitzvah no oh i love asking people what their themes were yeah i didn't have one i we i wasn't like super yeah we're we're not religious Mm -hmm. um we did the chair. We had the huppa because, like, flowers are pretty. Yeah. Um, the glass. Yeah. Alex, like, says he's, like, kind of, he's, like, I'm kind of Jewish now. And I'm, like, no, you're not. <laughs> like, it doesn't just make Because he you. tried matzo ball soup. And, I don't know. Because he married a Jew. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think I'm, like, that Jewish, you know? But, like... <sighs> I hate, like, this is so, like, hacky. Yeah. But I have, like, problems with my digestion. Yeah. And I just feel like now I'm, like, it's, like, that's how it starts. Well, <laughs> Alex has Crohn's disease. Does which he? Which is, like, typically a Jewish Is it? Immune disease. I knew a lot of people who had it who weren't Jewish. Really? Though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I definitely have one of those things. I need to go to the doctor. You should probably go to the doctor. I think so. Like, it always just, like, hurts here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think that's I my stomach. But, like, no, I keep telling Ariana Grande, like, if she needs to talk. Uh-huh. Oh, does she have Crohn's? No, but Pete Davidson does. Oh, so you're, like, I'm woman like, to woman. Be, like, yeah, I know what it's like to have a husband with Crohn's. So we yeah. Can, like, chat about it. I love that. <laughs> she hasn't responded. Oh, well, <laughs> did you DM her? No, you. But she has to follow me to DM. Oh, on oh, Instagram? No, yeah, I yeah. tweeted it. Oh, that's funny. Because they were all, like, they called Pete Davidson, like, butthole eyes or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard about this. And I was like, yo, I can talk butthole eyes with you if you need. If That's you ever so need funny. Yeah. How do you get, um, so me and my friend, we just, or we just tried to make, like, a product review show. Mm-hmm. And we're, like, DMing people to give us products, but, like half the people won't respond yeah or they're like we'll look into it but then they like don't give it yeah how do you get stuff do you dm people or did they dm you Um, because don't you sometimes do stuff like that sometimes yeah but it's mostly it'll be like either like i'll want something and i'll say it Mm -hmm. or um I was, like, going to, like, a lot of, like, makeup parties. <gasps> what mm-hmm. are those? Well, they're just, like, launches yeah. of different things. And then, you know, you can just... And like, you come home with a lot of good swag. Yeah. And they have they have PR lists. So mm-hmm. they just, like, send... <gasps> you just, If you get on one of those lists, you just continually get, like, their new stuff. <sighs> Do you get a lot of stuff in the mail? No. Not anymore. I used to. That's so fun. Yeah. That, to me, would be, like, the best part about being on a show. Like, above anything else is, like, getting free stuff. Yeah. I mean, I just, like, wish that my show was, like, had a little bit more of crossover with, like, the height of Instagram. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. But, but doesn't, M- like, MTV2 follow up with a lot of stuff like that? Hmm? Doesn't, I don't know. There's so many MTV apps. Yeah. I would think that they, like, constantly promote... I don't know. No, MTV stopped doing scripted shows, so... Oh, you know what? Yeah. Well, I had a meeting with them recently, um, but it was MTV Digital, and they told me they're only looking for shows, because I was, like, 
trying to you know come up with show ideas or whatever to pitch and they told me that everything they're looking for is like um with influencers yeah like that's all they want yeah and i'm like what i don't know it was just like a trip to me i know like they don't want like you you used to be able to be like just like a fun hot girl like jenny mccarthy oh yeah you know what i mean but now it's like they literally want people with like millions of followers like teaching people about whatever (laughs) yeah i don't know what they are i didn't i I obviously didn't come up with the right idea (laughs) yeah i mean well I, I kind of, like, understand it because it's, like, people doing half the, the battle for you. because Promotional-wise. Like, Promotional-wise. And then, like, in a casting situation, if you're, like, casting for, like, singled out or something, mm-hmm. you don't know what people are going to like. And so if you have, like, an influencer who mm. has all of these kids who, like, follow them and stuff, like, you already – they're already, like – likeable a little bit you know oh that makes sense i never thought of that i only thought of the fact that if someone has like a million followers and then they promote the show a million people will likely tune in to watch it Mm. i mean they won't that's like not what happened really no oh (laughs) like did you ask them i always like to ask people who talk about influencers and like are Uh uh-huh i'm like is it working do you say that yeah to like casting directors no not to casting directors or like whoever yeah, like production companies okay. and like whatever. When they're like, oh, we're looking for this for that. And you go, oh, does that work? Yeah. That's funny. Mm-hmm. And then what do they say? They're like, TBD, like we're not sure yet. That's interesting. Yeah. I like that you asked that. Well, I'm interested because yeah. I'm like, you guys are getting, and some, I, I don't want to like say, because I do have some friends who are like YouTubers who mm-hmm. started doing YouTube because they weren't getting acting work. So it's like mm-hmm. there are people who are like talented of as course, actors yeah. and also influencers. But, um, you know, this basis of just talking about like a following and then mm-hmm. putting people in is just so bizarre to me mm-hmm. because the truth is, is like some if something's good, it's like something's not good it doesn't matter how many followers somebody has right yeah i think i don't know so i'm just like always interested Mm -hmm. but i don't think it works completely no yeah and like but it's like nobody knows what to do at this point you know Mm -hmm. everybody's like scrambling and like chasing whatever is like hot yeah and then it's like one person's like yes and then they're like okay now we're doing that yeah it's that's what irritates me so much yeah um yeah, I feel like people aren't as, um, like, creative or taking as many chances as they used yeah. to. Um, like, I noticed, well, Steven noticed, he was like, oh, like, all the show, like, a lot of shows that came out right now, it's, um, like, a lot of remakes of old yeah. shows. Like, Roseanne, um, whoever, uh, that chick who plays the news reporter, the billboards on Sunset, I forgot who it is, but that's, like, an old remake of a show. Oh, well, they're not remakes. They're continuing. Those are con- just Murphy Brown. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, they're not remaking. Those aren't remakes. Well, technically, I guess it is a continuation, then. Yeah. But um, there are a lot of reboots. I don't have a problem with the reboots because I'm like, you know what? At this point, like, I'd rather watch a mm-hmm. reboot than because it's like fun some and nostalgic. Stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just like I feel like everything's getting like there's just so much stuff, and it's like really, and everything is they they need like this like crazy hook for everything, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So like a reboot kind of gives room for what was okay you know Mm -hmm. like can you imagine what like a pitch for friends would be like right now because they'd be like okay but like what i know like are they like witches like (laughs) it's like no no they're just like funny and they're all friends (laughs) yeah i've i've had that experience too with um you know writing like a pilot and Mm -hmm. then you know people are like well where is it going yeah and it's you know and it used to be able you know seinfeld friends yeah shows about nothing and they were so funny but it's like if judd apatow isn't producing it like you gotta make something yeah a a damn zombie you know (laughs) i'm so over zombies yeah i hate i just hate it i'm like not really oh i guess the walking dead is 
Norman Reedus is somebody that I was like, that's a hot dude without his per- having his personality. Yeah, I like I that whole like bad boy it. kind of thing. Like remember yeah. Josh Hartnett in The Faculty? Yeah. Like that's like they don't have well, I guess they do have guys like that still. Yeah. But like that was like so hot to me. Yeah. I think Jake I mean, Hall and Donnie Darko. Oh my god. He looks now when I look back at like photos from that movie, um he looks so young. I know. It's like totally baby. Like, he must have been like 17. And like very feminine. Huh. He has like feminine features like or pretty. Not, yeah. Yeah, I guess pretty. He looks like a lion. <laughs> He's so hot. He's so but now hot. he looks different. He's still so hot. Yeah. Who else is hot? Um, who else is hot? I mean, like, Ryan Gosling's hot, right? He is, but, like, he... There's something about him that's, like... He's trying to be hot to me. Yeah. He's, like, always trying to just, like have something up his sleeve and that's like his expression Mm. you know what i mean like he's always just like it's like this smirk like he's always just like about to fuck your wife or something do you know what i mean but i kind of feel like it's like we've done that to him Hmm. like i'm like because we made such a thing about him being hot and like all this stuff that it's like i feel like we put him in his head Oh, and he's playing into that now and just... No, but it's just, like, not... Well, not that he's playing into it on purpose, but, like, if you're Ryan Gosling and, like, that's literally what you are, you're like, oh, I'm a hot dude. Yeah. Then, like, and everybody, you know, we had all those, like, hey, girl things, like, the Ryan Gosling, like, memes about... He's like, hey, girl, like, I'll take you to dinner or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, like... And I just... I don't know. I feel like... You know when, like, Jack Nicholson started, like, acting like Jack Nicholson? Like, Psycho? No. I'm saying in movies when he was, like... Well, he's like, the People say he's the same guy in every movie. Well, and he's, like, playing Jack Nicholson. Right. So it's, like, I feel like... He's, like, the same guy in every movie. We did it to Ryan Goss. I mean, I think he could, like, what... TBD, I don't know. But he, we're, like... He's like, oh, you guys are expecting me to be. It's kind of like how Emma Roberts is the same character in every American Horror Story anthology. I mean, kind of, but I feel like. She plays it really well. Yeah. Obviously. I think she's really good at it. But um, because I was just, I I noticed that it's pretty much like the same kind of character. Yeah. Um, But I think just more like, oh, he's like, you guys think I'm this thing so like i'm gonna you know what i mean yeah like did well, i you, didn't, don't, I, didn't, I get in my head like don't you get in your head when you're like talking to somebody and you're like oh my god i'm like talking too much i am being so annoying but you can't stop and you just like keep like, yeah going further and further and you're like this is so annoying i'm sure it's so annoying you well i'll I mean? notice that like i feel like i'll sometimes notice that i feel like i'm like too aggressive mm-hmm. or like i don't know if it's like I don't want to call myself alpha or if I'm like, I feel like I'm just like, I get like to whatever. But then that doesn't make like when you realize that you don't stop, right. You probably just like go hard. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like someone has to lead the thing. Yeah. I noticed that when I made a video, when I made that be- a beauty video with my friend the other day, I noticed that I was like talking pretty much like most of the time yeah. or like that. I'm like, I just have, like, a more aggressive energy. But maybe that's just, like, mixing energies with people. And it's like, fuck, am I like that person? And actually, I asked Mike one time. Like, it was – we were doing a podcast. And then I was like – I feel like I was, like, really, like, intense or, like, aggressive. And he's like, yeah, you are. And I was like, what? And I forget that. But then I – I don't know. I don't get too much I, – I, I think about that sometimes. Yeah. So, like, that's what I mean. But, you know, when it's happening and you're like, oh, I'm being, like – aggressive and then you're just like but i can't stop it yeah you know it's like well it is who i am so yeah i'm not gonna like pull back so that's what he goes through yeah i mean i (laughs) guess i've like really humanized ryan gosling too much but did we even get that far into it though (laughs) no no have you seen lars and the real girl lately i don't even remember if i saw that (sighs) but he was so hot and was it called the place 
beyond the pines mm-hmm. yeah he was hot in that um i like the like the bleach hair look who is like but like drive i was done hot. by drive i was done oh but what about jake john hall in um nightcrawler so hot i mean i was like is so something hot. wrong with me like i need to yeah. go to like a, a psychiatrist immediately <laughs> yeah i was like this is the hottest thing i've ever seen it's, he's so hot but like i feel like now he might like doesn't he have like a beard he has a different look now like he just got old one day or something i don't know yeah i don't know who else is there i don't know who else there is because those were like he was like the one that like i would say that i think is so hot but i can't i can't think of like who else i know there is because now it's just like well, i feel like they're getting older and now it's like all these young kids but right. they all look too young i know because i'm not attracted to young guys no. i've never hooked up with anyone younger than me i haven't oh no my ex-boyfriend is like two years younger than really me. like a year and a half younger. it's so funny it's like you ever have friends who hook up with guys who yes. are like much younger it's shocking to me i'm like what how i can't even have a conversation with the, a 23 year old yeah, it's it's alarming. I have a friend who's hooked up with guy who hooks up with guys who are like ten years younger than her. Yeah, which like I just like can't, I just know it no. just feels like Miss Robinson. That well, movie. and also- oh, the faculty or what's it called? <laughs> Not the faculty. Fuck. What's the that? Graduate. Movie? The graduate. Feels like the faculty. <laughs> <laughs> feels like aliens are attacking my high school. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah. I. I. I I'm d- an alien. Yeah, like one time I was like really drunk and I like saw this guy in New York and I saw this guy I was in college with and I knew he was like three years younger than me and I brought him up to my apartment and like made out with him. And, and then I was like, leave. And, and I just felt like gross. I just like, I was like, I don't like this. Yeah. It feels like predatory. I know. I'm not, I'm not into that, but people like it. And I just, I think it's like a commitment issue. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> That makes sense. Well, that's what I think is the same for men who date young girls because they're not ready for like. Yeah, but doesn't it depend? Because like I feel like some men, though, like date young girls and then they become they get married and then, Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, a friend of mine just married this girl who's like 20 or 25 years younger than him. Mm, It's so weird to me, you know? Yeah. And I'm just like, what do you guys have in common? You know? Yeah. And he's in the industry, you know, but in development. Mm -hmm. And he's like a professional, you know? Yeah. And now he has this like 20 year old wife. And it's just so odd. I'm like, are you going to like bring her? I'm not resentful. And I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) no, we like casually dated like years ago. And like, but so it's just so I think I'm more invested in it. Yeah. But it's it's just so odd. I don't know. But then I guess it's like, I don't know. It's like, what kind of conversations are you? Right. But I just think that like some people want to find different things in their relationships. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you have I, a good, you have a positive outlook. <laughs> no, I just. You're like the other voice in my head. That's like, wait a minute. Well, maybe. No, I no Because I'm kind of being a bitch too. Because I'm like, maybe they just not don't value me. conversation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Okay. You know? I was listening to Drew Barrymore on a podcast and she who, by the way, like I don't really like I haven't like, you know, I read her book when I was younger in like middle school, Mm. but like about her life. So, you know, but I hadn't like seen her much. And then she was on this um, Norm McDonald. You know, he Mm -hmm. has a new Netflix show and Mm -hmm. our talent coordinator is Adam, his sidekick on Mm. it. And I was watching her on it and she like she seems like such a nice person yeah and she said something like um she tries to make every interaction with someone like super positive Mm -hmm. and like you know she she she's like i would never want to be an asshole to someone and i was like whoa so i like i was like i'm gonna listen to her on a podcast and see if she like talks about optimism and stuff and um Oh, my God. I literally forgot where I'm going with this. I'm not even kidding. I was, like, building it up to – Oh, okay. So, she said that she doesn't look at – So, she, like, essentially, like, grew up without a family. Yeah. You know, she had a mom, but I think they had a very tumultuous relationship or something. Yeah. I don't remember if she had a dad or not. But she basically doesn't look at – Like, she, she was like, I didn't look at a family and be like – And be like – I'm so jealous. Like I have, I don't have that, you know, like Mm. I don't feel good. She's like, wow, look at that family. Like I hope to have that someday. 
And I was just like, that's like such, and she like genuinely says that. Yeah. See, like, that's what I, that's why I like, I'm scared that the secret works because Uh I look at things and I'm like, I immediately go like, Make it about what you. What did I do wrong mm-hmm. to, like, not... But I feel like most people do, except for right. her. Like, she's right. the first person. Right. I mean, that was, like, such an incredible... Because I, I just started thinking about, like, perception. So I've been on this whole kind of thing lately to do with yeah. it. And just, like, how y- you can perceive things different way. And it just makes, like, for, I guess, like, how you're going to, you know, react and feel, like, happiness and stuff. Yeah. So it's been on my mind. So I was just so impressed when I heard that. And it's like, wow, that's like a different way to have an outlook. So I feel like I'm talking all this shit right now. And you're like, or maybe they just, and I'm like, what the fuck? (laughs) So now I'm really realizing a lot about myself. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I actually like just went to like a new therapist and I Mm -hmm. was like, I, this is what I want to change. Like around this kind of thing. Well, about like thinking negatively Mm -hmm. about stuff not like talking shit or anything like that but just like Mm -hmm. thinking because somebody was like i'm gonna give you a bunch of ages and tell me like your first memory from all Mm -hmm. those ages and she was like were you doing emdr no okay um i did do that in high school though yeah my acting teacher oh yeah that's interesting yeah he's cool um and uh uh she was like okay Every age I gave you, you pretty much gave me, like, a negative Mm -hmm. memory. Memory. Or, like, something that you did that was, like, bad. Instead of... And aside from, like, my wedding and, like, some of, like, my family stuff and my husband. And um, and I just thought it was so interesting because she was, like, I asked you, like, 20... 21 and I was when I graduated I was a hostess at like a brunch place Mm -hmm. we had to wear it was friend of a farmer on like Irving yeah we had to wear like plaid shirts and like the the um owner came in one day and she was like your collar like you need to start your collar or something like that (sighs) shut up I like told her this like that was like my memory for whatever age, like twenty two. Yeah. And she was like, Did when did you like book your first acting job? Uh-huh. And I was like twenty two. And she's like, So why did like why was your memory that you told me about how someone told you that your collar oh. wasn't Oh and it's like what you're holding on to. It's, well, it's what just you're like, limestoning. It's like yeah, it's like well it's it's kind of like how you, how I like n- was narr am narrating mm-hmm. my life in my head. And so it's like instead of being like Oh, I'm proud of this thing that happened that year. I'm I go to like when somebody told me my collar was yeah wrinkled. You know, it's that's just like, so interesting. Yeah, so I want to try that and see what comes up for me. So then it's like okay, well now that you identified that, now it's like you can right. So now I'm like, well, how do you change, change that? that? It's got to mm-hmm. be. So I was like, did she better. tell you to listen to your thoughts? And then when you have a negative one to just like stop, try to stop, stop it and create yourself. a new thought process. No, I don't know. We haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> <laughs> so did she She's give like, you any tips? Crystal and- really? No, Shut no, the no, fuck. No. Oh, okay. That's too funny. <laughs> what a callback. Yeah. Um, did she, so that was it for so, for so far. I mean, yeah, it's literally just, I, it's literally, we're just getting there. So I'm trying I to know. get the lesson for I myself. Know, I'm sorry. I can't. I love it. Yeah. Well, I think uh, I th- we just kind of came full circle. Yeah. So m- thank you so much. Thank you. For um, coming on. And where can people find you on social media? Um, you can find a very unthemed Instagram <laughs> at Molly Charlove or Twitter at Molly Charlove. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for thank coming you. on. And uh, and uh, subscribe, rate, and review yeah. on iTunes. Thank you, guys. Five stars. Five stars. Bye. Bye.